guys, I have got a special treat for you today. A special guest who I think is going to cook something pretty special for me. Guys, this is Sam Goodwin, mate of mine, ex Master contestant. What are you cooking, Sam? Because I reckon I know exactly what it is. I'm pretty excited about it. I've done this one just for you, Michael. <laughs> I know you love your fried chicken. I do. Today, we're doing a Japanese style one. Like it's that. quick and easy, perfect for a dinner party or if you've got the boys over for a beer, it is perfect. Now you had me at fried chicken. The, oh, I didn't even hear the last bit, and then I heard beer. So it was perfect for me. What do you want me to do? Right, uh, I might get you on to preparing the chicken. Fine so with me. Cut that down into about five centimetre pieces. Yep. Nice large yep, cool. bite size. I'm going to add on to the marinade. It's got a soy sauce base, so I'm yep. going to start with about a quarter of a cup of soy, and that salt content in there acts like a brine. Yep. And it's going to tenderise the meat. Two tablespoons of sake. Got about three centimetres worth of ginger here, finely yeah, nice. grated. Clove of garlic, finely yeah. minced. Beautiful. Make sure it's packed full of flavour. Yeah. And then about a teaspoon of caster sugar in there. Yep, just balance it out. Balance it out. Like every dish Courtney does. A little, bit, little bit of honey yeah. to balance it all out. So we can go chicken straight in there. Yep. I've, and got, that, the, I've got the chicken fingers, so I'll do that. Yeah, get it in there. And you just all mix it all about. Yep, mix nice. it all about. We'll set it aside. 10 to 15 minutes is enough. So because of the salt content in that soy sauce. You don't want to do it for too long because really it'll yeah. always start like curing it. Yeah, we've got big yeah. flavours in there we too. We do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Our chicken's been marinating for 15 minutes. It's going to be infused with all that soy and ginger flavour. Perfect. Next, we have to get it into our flour. Now, we're using corn flour That's today. That's crunch. Ultra crunch. Ultra corn, crunch. Corn flour is pure starch, yep. so when you fry it, it goes really crispy. crispy. Yep. You can sub it out with a tapioca starch yep. or potato nice. starch, which is yeah. really commonly used. That's great because it's gluten free, right? Yep. Perfect. We want to make sure it is really well seasoned, so uh -huh. get some good quality salt flakes in there. And you want to put I, more I always in always season my flour. So Over. you're not going to get the flavour into the flour as much once you season it afterwards, so always season your flour when frying, whether it be salt and pepper squid, whether it be fried chicken. You just told me something before as well. You're gonna cook this three times. Game changer. So you do the same with your potato chips yes. too. Yes, yep. Ultra crunchy. Yeah, I love it. Now this is a good bit, we're gonna start cooking it because the closer we get to cooking it, the closer I get to eating it, right? For sure. All so right. we've got a little light corn flour coating yep. on there. We're gonna fry it three times. I love the look of it because you've got a little bit of soy. It's soaked in a little bit. Soy, ginger, smell sake. the aromats in it. So good. So we're gonna go in the first fry about a minute, minute and a half, then we'll come out for 30 seconds, back yep. in for 30 seconds, nice. out for 30, and then just fry it again for 30 on the it's last give us one. Extra crispiness, right? Correct. So probably do it in batches. Yeah, we don't want to overcrowd the fryer, so probably only want to fill like half your surface area of oil when yeah. you are frying, and that's your rule for anything. It just stops the oil temperature from dropping too much. I love it. Look at this. Look at that crispy chicken. That's off the hook. It's golden. That's been fried three times. We're going to amp it up even more. This is you what I'm just interested. told me about a little hack that we're going to try. I've got one. So you want to use some Nori oh, sheets as a garnish. I want a nori powder over the top, and like you've it. told me we can do it directly over the flame. We so can. I'm going to let you take control of that. We just need a set of tongs and a couple Let's of nori a sheets. Couple of them. So these ones crisp up really well. Tongs and just sort of fan them over the flame. They'll sort of they'll curl up a bit. Going straight away. And it'll change colour. While you do that, yep. I'm going to make a quick wasabi mayonnaise. Perfect. So we've got half a cup of mayonnaise. Nice. And I'm going in with about two teaspoons of wasabi. I like it pretty punchy. You can tone it back at home if you don't. Yep. I say more wasabi. I love wasabi. Yeah. It's, it's one of my favourites. We are looking very good. Should we plate it up? Let's I'm plate gonna, it up. I'm going to plate here. You want a little bit of baking paper? Sure. Just a bit of rustic. We can just... I love it. At home, you can do Scrunch it. Scrunch it up. Perfect for a dinner party or with the boys at home. I mean, this go. is uh, half of the battle is making something look good, right? That's what we have yeah. always fun with. Uh, the show with the N-word, that MasterChef show. Yeah, yeah. You've got to make it look good before the judges even eat it, right? That's the hard bit. So we can just go over the top with a nori. Nice. And I like this last step, because I love hot and stuff fried chicken. Just a few chilli flakes. Yeah, man. Look Pretty at that. Nice and easy. Put that to finish it off. A little bit of wasabi made to finish it off. How don't good. have to be fancy, just a little dollop on the side. Serve that. A wedge of lime and you're laughing. It's not good when you have a guest come on the show and you know the dish is going to be more popular than yours. That's Get in bit. there. Bit of the mayo. It's not bad. We need a beer. You guys are going to love this. 